Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. You join me in, well, my toilet and also where my locker is. Today is my last day of GP, which means that I have a fairly non-clinical week. So, welcome to a non-clinical week vlog. My morning clinics are over and it is now lunchtime and because it is my last day here I am going to go and treat everyone in the office to some lunch and also some desserts. Strangely, there's a Cinnabon in Leeds and it's right next to the practice. There's also a Starbucks over there, you might be able to see the sign there, there's a Starbucks and there's an American pizza place right here. So I'm going to go and buy a bunch of stuff. And about 20 minutes later, I have gotten signed off for my placement, passed it as expected, got everything signed off, and I now have, well, most of the day free, which is fantastic. As for the rest of the day, it is going to be fairly boring. As for USMLE studying, I have moved on to reproductive embryology, anatomy, physiology, pathology, slowly making my way through that. And I have a presentation to do tomorrow and it is on subacute granulomatous thyroiditis, a condition that you can get if you have certain viral illnesses and it can cause your thyroid to get inflamed and you get some symptoms, uh, but it usually doesn't leave any lasting damage on your thyroid. Most likely, I will catch up with you tomorrow. In the weeks that we don't have placement, i.e. right now, usually three things happen. Firstly, we have our Safer Medic group presentations to do, which is first thing on the agenda. Second is ethics, which usually requires a literature review to have been done beforehand on a various different topic. And then lastly, uh, res. But this week is slightly different having a look at my timetable because my ethics got cancelled last time and it's now been rescheduled for today, which is kind of annoying because that means I don't get a half day today. Um, and I also have ideals and I don't, right, I have ideals later this week and I don't really know why or what it's for. I've said this before. I swear, I don't know what's happening half the time I'm in med school. I'm just sort of like along for the ride and just studying and studying along in my own time and hoping I can, well, stay up to date with whatever it is I need to know because Jesus Christ, what? I don't know anything. No one's here. There's, there's not a single person here. I swear, days like this are awful, actually. 
it's raining and I feel like I've done, well, not that much. The ethics thing that I had in the afternoon was interesting, but I don't feel like as if it was the most effective two hours of my life. I feel like if I had that two hours to myself, I could probably do something a bit better, do some more USMLE studying, get some more OSCE practice in, something like that, as opposed to sitting and talking about the ethics of resource allocation uh, based on lifestyle factors in the NHS. Interesting, but uh, interesting and relevant, but not really what I want to be doing sort of a month and a half before exams. You know, I think today I'm having one of those days where I just don't want to do anything. I mean, sure, I've been productive. I've done some work, but I think the, the combination of the safe for medic presentations, sitting around for a couple hours trying to do some physiology stuff, and then having ethics for two hours has just sort of like taken all of the energy out of me for being productive this evening or for the rest of the day. So I just, I'm just not, not gonna do anything. I just don't want to, which is perfectly fine. Like if you're having a day where you're just like, I just can't, I just don't want to, I, I just can't, it's fine to just not do it. Do what your body's telling you to do because, well, you'd be pretty stupid to put yourself through something and do it really ineffectively, inefficiently and then waste even more time later and still feel awful afterwards. After last night's relaxation when I was just not feeling it, I have woken up and I feel a lot better. But um, that's probably going to be short lived because today is the res day and I have a lecture on multivariate uh, regression analysis, which is something I did back in year 12 or 13. So at least it's an easy start in the morning. Not very interesting, <laughs> which is really annoying for the vlog, but um, I have res for the next, uh, what time is it now? It is 8.30, I have res starting at nine, and it finishes at six, which, yeah, long day of res, and I'm gonna try and do some revision interspersed between my lectures and tutorials. Really boring week this week. Right, we're going to go back to old school vlogging Naffy, where he complained 24-7 about his lectures. I have just had my lecture on multivariate regression analysis, and it was probably one of the most confusing lectures that I've had in a very long time. Not because what was being said was confusing, it was more so to do with what we have to do with that lecture. We have two tasks we have to do. One, which is a sort of tutorial task, which is called a lectorial, and another is a group project task. The lecture was teaching us how to use Starter, a statistical analysis software, how to use it and how to interpret it. Naturally, you may be thinking, right, if we're being taught that we have to learn how to use this and how to interpret it, that means the tutorial and group work will have to be, well, to try and learn it and try and apply it to some data. But no, we don't. Instead, we have to do this worksheet to basically sort of say what we would do if we had data and what commands we would do if we had data to analyze. And the group work is basically the same thing. Again, e even to the point where one of the things that we have to do is do a sort of analysis on an example table of which the example table is exactly the same as the tutorial work. And I have just been explaining to the rest of the year on the year's group chat on what we have to do and what was the point of this. Because I'm fairly sure that it flew over everyone's head almost instantly. It's the reason. It's, this is like one of the reasons why res days tend to be some of the least liked days in third year. 
because sometimes it just doesn't make sense, but also it does, because otherwise it wouldn't be like this. I don't know. I guess all that matters is that I sort of understand what we have to do, and that I can do the work, so I can do that. I guess I don't really have anything else to complain about. To ensure that I don't feel like complete death um, from a day of res, I have decided to do a workout and um, feel a bit refreshed, feel a bit energised and make sure that my mind has something slightly different to do other than getting mad about statistics. And then I also did some revision on reproductive embryology which is so boring. <laughs> It's just everything in my life is just sort of like coming together and everything is boring. So, what a brilliant week. It's always awful coming from the gym going back home because there's like a million different restaurants here and like food places. And I'm always hungry as soon as I leave the gym for obvious reasons and I always want to get food, I'm always tempted. But I have the willpower not to do that. Okay, I have definitely fallen into the trap of getting food after going to the gym. Got myself some noodles and got myself some sushi. My favourite weather and favourite time of the day is the evening when it's still slightly warm and just about to go slightly dark because it always reminds me of being in Europe and when the weather is really warm, reminds me of being in the summertime and how it's just really nice to sort of go out into some random city and just see like the different way of life because in England you don't really get that many people sort of walking outside and sitting outside in restaurants but whilst I was walking back from the gym I saw loads of restaurants having more chairs and tables out to take advantage of the good weather. And it's just a really good feeling to end the day off of really boring res stuff. I am now going to spend my evening opening this package which has arrived. This package is actually a big monitor arm to fit onto the desk. It's actually a vertical one so I can put a monitor there and a monitor there for now. Uh, so I can have three monitors again because having one monitor is slightly very annoying. So my evening is just going to be like left to deal with this and do cable management. So good morning. It is Friday now and I have just two lectures today. One is an ideals lecture on prescribing and patient safety and professional stuff. I think, and the second one is a res lecture on stats or something, but more importantly, I spent a couple, well, I spent an hour last evening focusing on putting up these new monitors. So I now have these two monitors. This microphone placement is slightly annoying because it obscures that, but I, I'll, I'll figure out how to fix this later. Got my camera there still. And then I've got my big setup there. Fantastic, I've got monitors again, which means that when I'm streaming, I can put stuff there. And for like day-to-day -day productivity, I can move windows across. And apparently my lecture has just started in that corner. So I am going to go watch that and do some actual med school stuff. Mid lecture update. Turns out this isn't actually a lecture. Turns out this is actually a multi-professional day thing. So once a year, the physician associates, pharmacists and medics from the University of Leeds and the University of Bradford come together for a multi-professional day to talk about healthcare and the various different attributes of healthcare that each of these roles have. Um, last year it was in person, apparently this year it's online and there's like 200 people in just this group. It seems like a pretty logical idea to try and get all the different bits of healthcare professions together and do a whole like group 
teaching style thing to sort of understand each other's roles better. But I don't think doing it online is very good because um, it's not very interesting sitting here for, well, what has been two hours now, listening and then having a chat, being put into breakout rooms and then not really doing much. Now, my lecture on interprofessional stuff is over and because the weather today is great, loads of clear blue skies and it's really warm, I am heading into the University Union to grab myself a bubble tea because, well, it's really nice and I'm feeling kind of lazy today. So lazy that in fact, I'm not wearing proper shoes, I'm wearing Crocs. I think there might be people graduating because the entire union walk is full of people in graduation outfits and I see lots of budding parents around. Here you go. Thank you very much. Give it time. The last thing I am going to do for this week is to go see a musical. It is a performance by the Leeds Amateur Medics Musical and Performance Society. The show is going to be Percy Jackson, the musical. And I'm really excited for this because as a kid, I really loved Greek mythology and all of the different gods and all of the different stories. And Percy Jackson was one of my favorite characters in any book growing up. I've been told it's very good and apparently the reviews for it are very good. So I'm assuming it's going to be good. I should really get going because the performance is happening inside the union building and it's like half an hour until the show starts so I better make my way there.
if they're polite So me, I tend to stand my ground I found I never can give in It may not be my quest But maybe it's mine to win Is it I will be remembered My grand plan Just you wait and see You better wise up Cause I'll rise up For more than any challenge Someday soon But maybe doesn't let me go back and save her. I think. This was the most angry I have been that my camera battery died halfway through. That musical performance was one of the best things I have seen in a very long time. The story was good, the singing was phenomenal, the songs were great, the acting was good, it was funny, it was quirky, it was true to the original. Genuinely, one of the best things I have seen. I cannot believe that the people doing the entire production are also medics. How they do that in their spare time is absolutely beyond me. This, genuinely really good. And because of the way I do my vlogs, you won't be able to see it because there's one more showing left and I'm so tempted to go see this again because it was just that good. To everyone who is involved with the production, as well as actually being in the musical, you did an absolutely phenomenal job. You should be so proud of yourselves. That was incredible. And I am so sorry I could not show you more. And on this fairly good note, I am going to end the vlog here. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon as well. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, congratulations to Lamps. That was a phenomenal performance. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.